Yeah, man, what's up, my purples? My name is Bless Beats. Welcome to the black hole. Wonderful news today. <laughs> you probably already know about it. Machina 2.12. There's a lot of Machina right now, but there's a, there's a lot happening around the Machina right now. I bet there was one or two of you out there, little rascals, that were holding your breath a little bit, thinking, is it gonna be Machine 3.0? Am I gonna have to pay for this? But no, everyone get Amazi Dangerous! few people thought the full workflow video was a little bit a tad bit too much a tad bit too long so i'm gonna try to make this one a little bit shorter and focus only on the new song mode and the clips and show you what you can do with it with a practical example starting off with the software and then from the hardware all right you know what i'm saying i take it you're already familiar with how you build scenes and patterns if not you can check out this other video up in the suggestion thing in the in the box thing right there with the full workflow start off with the first major one for me right here and that is throwing in acapellas and making remixes or throwing in reference acapellas and making remixes. If you're, if you're on a computer anyways, it's not gonna be as flexible as on a DAW. So if you have another DAW, you might as well track your vocals in there. You can do it. Honestly, I don't see it as practical. So let me show you what I did actually to prepare this. You can just throw any audio file in, any acapella into a clip. But if you wanna make sure that it's a smooth ride, most DAWs have this option to loop optimize it so grab your part and even bars like that uh, only the acapella is coming out export and then ableton live you want to render it as a loop and also take note of the bpm just in case at a glance it pretty much looks per usual here we got the familiar look on the interface but there's some things under the hood here that are going to make themselves very apparent in just a moment so i made a new group there Hold your horses, it is not quite what it seems. Let's pull our acapella in here on a track. Convert that sampler to an audio module in here. It fucked up on picking up the right tempo here. Good thing we wrote it down, so we're all good. Boom. Now watch this magic. We can move it around freely just as we wish. And right now it's snapping to bars. That's because our grid settings here under a range are set to one bar. If we set it to half a bar, let's see what happens. Yep, it snaps to half a bar. But one thing you can do is you can hold down shift on your keyboard and move it around completely off the grid. Wonderful. Treated like a goddess is the way that I was brought up. Here where I'm doing. Life is simple if it happens, don't get caught up. That's just making shit harder. Like you need to drain my water, get it? Just gotta live it. No sustain is out of limits. We treated like a goddess is the way that. I That's very off here. Let me show you another thing real quick. If you right-click the entire scene, you can convert them. You can convert all the patterns to clips, and move them around. Now you can't move them horizontally but you can slide them around and re rearrange them how you want and as you can see this particular case it sounds very off but there's a reason for that is that I barely ever use quantizing so my other beat that this acapella is actually for is way behind in this case we run into a ishimaloo because I want to move it to the left and we can't do that. But if we create a new scene there, see this is going to split up the clips automatically too. Take this scene here, put some space in the beginning. Hold shift and nudge it a bit to the right and see if we can get it a little bit more spot on. Treated like a goddess is the way that I was brought up. My key to life is simple if it happens don't get caught up. That's just making shit harder like you need to drink my water. Get it? Just gotta live it. No such thing inside of them as we were made in God's image. How could they say we're lesser than it's evident? If heaven is then we are something that's heaven sent. Part of me I'm rambling. She says she loves the way I think. Enamored with the fact I'm different. Started with... Yeah, the acapella is not a perfect match for the beat because the other beat has sort of a different groove and a swing on it. And this one is a little bit more straight. However, that's pretty much what you do. Now you can right click here, create empty clips. And then just click these clips. There's a couple of issues that have been solved now. Let's, let's hop over to the controller. See, now that they introduced the song mode, 
they got rid of this issue that was kind of a middle grounds hassle with arrangement. And uh, because every time you press scene, you would always hop back into ideas mode when you wanted to stay in the arranger and you would have to hold shift and press arranger and blah, blah, blah. Just a weird transitional section in the, in the sequencing history of the machina. Now, as long as you have the song mode activated, this is always gonna let you navigate around sections. So that's a whole lot easier, you know what I'm saying? This will let you access your patterns. You can pin it, or if you hold down shift and press pattern. Yeah, let's pin that too. Now we can select our clips. Unfortunately, check them around. If we add a clip right there and go back to the song view, there's not really a way to, that I know of, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but you can't hop between clips and have the loop automatically wrap around the loop. So you're gonna have to use, sec use the section still to navigate around like this, unless you adjust the, the loop points manually like this. So that's definitely no biggie. Here is an important thing. The best overview you're always gonna get in song mode up here because if you're using sections or using clips like this you're not really seeing what's going on at the same time as you're picking but you can do most of the editing with the song view window open so right here uh, we can just delete that clip for example uh, pick our section and we still got that window up there and anytime we want to do anything that has to do with clips switch over to that tab. And then now automatically, you're not gonna have to hold shift and press pattern because this will be in clip mode automatically. So if you wanna uh, select another clip or make another clip, you can just press clip right there and then hop out. Nudging around the clip is just as easy from the controller. Just move the clip position like this and hold down shift to nudge it around. Now, let's, let me show you how to do it from the controller. We can stay in clip mode here in the, in the song view. Like, always remember this. In song mode, are you on section or are you on clip? If you want to, if you want to be in the old school mode with scenes and patterns and sections, you want to be in section. If you, anything that has to do with clips, just hop over to clip. That's the easiest thing to remember. Let's make a new group here and do it from the controller. Now there's no clip here as of now, but if we wanted to, we can create one. And anything can be in here. It could be a, uh, it can be a bunch of samples. It could be a audio engine. It could be an instrument. So let's load up an instrument. Far light, haven't tried that one before. Sounds cool. Got the chord mode with the harmonic major on it, and we're just gonna do this little step thing to create an entirely different vibe in another part in another section of the beat. So if we go back in the song mode here and check them around, we can see our new clip that we made there. Although it's set to one bar and it doesn't say auto, we actually don't need to set the length of it. It's gonna automatically extend. Check them around. We're gonna record across these two different sections here. I do wanna see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna throw this window away so we get back to our basic window in order to be able to access all of our per, 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 per parameters, you know what I'm saying, mister? Okay, and I wanna shift, shift auto to activate the automation there, and now we can record it at the same time. <laughs> From out here, when you can't see the song view, just try pressing the pattern button here and you'll see if you end up in clip or pattern because then you know, going back in here, you're probably in clip. If you're in section, that's gonna take you to pattern. So you're gonna have to 
hold shift and press pattern. That way you can tell, but if you want to check it, just hop in the, in the song view. It's always a, a good reference guide, you know what I'm saying? And now we have a clip with that informazione. Nice, done, ready, packaged, delivered and sealed up. It's really not much harder than that if you already know how to make scenes and patterns. <clears throat> if you don't, like I said, check out my other video, the full workflow one. You know what mister had to come through and cover you on this one. Good luck, happy beat making, happy even full song making, happy remixing, happy transition making, and Merry Christmas soon. Okay, bye-bye.